Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 20, and this is war number 11. And we're going up against an alliance that you can see there. I cannot read their name. Uh, but one thing about this video, it's going to be pretty short. Uh, I did not get a lot of fights in, and it became very obvious that our opponents did not care about this war at all. Uh, we only have one war left in the season, and AQ is down currently. So I was able to bring in Corvus, who is usually in AQ. When I saw uh, Guillotine 2099, I'm like, hey, I can get a charge for Corvus, in case I need to use him elsewhere. Uh, so if you've been watching my war videos, you know about this node and my path. Uh, you got a chance to look at them. I've tried to make sure that I show the uh, nodes uh, every time I fight. So I first want to knock her down. That put her Digicloak on cooldown, and that's why I'm able to just go ahead and attack her freely without worrying about it. Okay, I fired off a special, got a reset of the encounters. That's something that the node uh, requires, or else I'll get locked. And if you saw my... Um, I, I can't remember if it was my last war or the war before that. I got bit hard because I didn't pay attention to the node and I got to the place where I couldn't fire off a special. I was completely power locked. That's what that node does. If you do not play, you know, the node, fire off your specials to get your resets, you will not be able to fire your specials off and you will get completely power locked. So, I only had to fight one on that path. So of course, I went ahead and uh, took this guy. And as you can see, Corvus is not having any problem with him whatsoever. Um, I remember a little bit about uh, him shrugging things off. So you see that I I basically was fighting him like I fight uh, Agent Venom. I might parry, but then I try to go in as fast as possible. You know, because there is a time where they, if they shrug it off, you can still attack quick enough to get them. But if you delay any bit, they're gonna get you, okay? But we got him down, no problem. And you can see here, they already cleared that node. I don't even remember if they placed someone there. I believe they did. Uh, I don't have any footage of that fight. Ran out of uh, energy there. Uh, came back and continued on my merry way. So check out my second section. No defender there, no defender there. And he was not open or else I would have tried to uh, take him on as well. But that's pretty much it. That was my war. Like I said, they did not seem to care. Um, they are probably just like us, firmly in their uh, ranking bracket uh, what it looked like they did uh, they left a lot of defenders up and they just went for the boss that's it so we were more or less guaranteed to win this one uh, as long as we get all of our bosses down so a very nice and leisure uh, war for us so let's uh, come back and you'll find out how the war ended And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. No surprise there. Uh, as I said, they just went for the bosses. Uh, you can tell if you look at the explored uh, percentage. They did not try to explore the map. Uh, we are pretty solidly in Platinum 4. We just needed like a win uh, to confirm it 100%. And we've gotten like two since then. So the final war doesn't really matter uh, whether we win or lose we're gonna get platinum four now I don't know if we're gonna try to get platinum three in the next season uh, not everyone is on the same page uh, I don't like Alliance war a lot of people do not we do it because of the rewards if we don't do it we feel like we'll get uh, start getting left behind our progression will be slowed otherwise we wouldn't do Alliance War. Uh, but this season, 
we decided to, you know, go a little bit harder in uh, war to get back to platinum. But Alliance Quest is still our focus. And uh, we still have quite a few people that don't like Alliance War. They don't want to push both Alliance War and Alliance Quest. However, you know, I will go with whatever the majority goes with. Uh, if next season we decide to just take a more relaxed approach to Alliance War, I'm good with that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. In any case, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, that's all that I have for you. Take care. Click like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, it was very short. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Uh, constructive criticism is always welcome. And you all have a blessed day.